welcome to a new video here on my youtube channel in today's video we'll be looking at retouch and eyes and i want to say this if you're new here kindly consider subscribing to my channel make it a point to sit and watch all my videos if you want to improve your craft when it comes to photography if you're old and you return if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for supporting the channel kindly share this video to your friends just so that the reach can go that far for other people to also come and learn how to improve their photography as a craft all right this video is a requested video from a friend who normally shoots um, beauty and has a problem with retouching eyes i did have a problem with retouching eyes but i i think over the time i got used to how to make it look perfect without going through several actions that i have seen people go through to make their eyes look unrealistic when they are editing so what i want to tell you guys is whenever you want a clear eye um, also like a close to natural white eye right you should look at making sure whatever image you're taking the eye should have ample amount of light hitting it also there should be some catch lights in it having a catch light in the eye is more or less um a, a good step into making sure you're going to get like a well naturally edited eye when you're trying to whiten it right so today we'll be looking at whitening the eye more or less retouching the eye first thing we need to do is healing so i'm just going to duplicate the layer and what i normally do is to take away all these um, veins that you're seeing over here it's natural to keep them there but most of the time you have some veins that are not really looking nice and making the eye look really weird all right so i won't be using the i'll be using the clone stamp tool and the spot healing brush tool i won't be using the healing brush tool i also uh, um, toggle with the patch tool so let's see let's start with this to clear these ones right so when i tap on it i'll make sure it's on content aware also make sure the hardness is at zero then i try and take away some of these veins so i'm just going to show you how it's done right you're not really looking at textures over here that's why i'm using the spot healing brush i normally use the healing brush too when i am considering retaining texture and when i don't need any texture i think the spot healing brush too does all the work for me so there's no point in using the healing brush too here like i said not retaining any texture so let's quickly check our before and after this is the before and this is the after this is the before and this is the after right. then go and then clear some parts so with this side of the eye i'll introduce what i use most of the time the clone stamp tool when i have problems with the spot healing brush so flow of 27 make sure it's a soft brush then i'll sample and clean this side all right just to make sure it looks very perfect i'm going to keep this just because it makes the eye look a little bit natural in terms of um it's being watery right so if you've watched any of my previous videos on clone stamp 2 i've also said that you can use the clone stamp 2 to reduce texture right the idea behind reducing texture with the clone stamp 2 you can also use it to patch some parts of whatever it is you're trying to clear then it makes it look perfect so this is what we've done as you can see okay I'll try and clear the side also. Use the patch tool to clear some parts also. Alright, so I think 
we are halfway there next thing i want to do is to dodge and bend the eye you should know that um the eye also can be dodge and bend and the eye is in the spherical position but what we see here is some parts of that spherical position in the eye socket so i'll create a new layer d and b fill this with 50 percent gray change this to soft light pick up my brush to make sure i'm using a brush flow of two make sure it's a soft round brush then i'll make sure my my color swatches is back to default so black and white then i'll create black and white layer adjustment just to help me with so visual age just to help me with the dodging and burning let's add a curve adjustment to it to make it more prominent all right group this visual aid if you're really into beauty you should really have time for all of this that i am teaching you so you might say all this going through all this trouble to make the eye look perfect yes that's why you're a beauty photographer or beauty retoucher right so we're patching up the bright areas and then we'll make sure they blend in perfectly let's see before and after let me zoom out a little bit right. let's dodge the side also One thing I want you to know is you should keep in mind the 3D realistic idea of the eye. It's supposed to look a bit round, not flat. Right? So we'll probably be doing some global dodging and bending too. So let's see before and after. Before and after. We, we are halfway there we are halfway there so from here then we'll just do the eye whitening let's see are we good yeah if we take away the color problem then we should be good let's see i'm just trying to be a little bit perfect don't mind me but you don't really really need to be perfect you just need to make sure everything blends in smoothly all right so we are halfway there i'll create a new layer for that for the global dodging i mean i feel 50 percent gray come back to soft light okay so what i want you to know is i'll use the white to paint over this way right then the black to give it a bit of dimension so if i should zoom out and go this way before and after before and after i hope you guys can see that dimension that has been created over there now what i need to do is make sure my pupils are really really dark All right then I have a perfectly yep yeah, that's a good that's a good global dodging and burning of the eye next thing we need to do is make sure we whiten the eye and i have i have i think i've provided a lot of videos on that but i will do this one more time so pick up the hue and saturation layer i don't want to clearly make it completely white so I will go through all the available channels here to reduce the saturation right so i'll come into the reds reduce the saturation of the reds come into the yellows do the same thing greens 
cyan blues the magenta then a bit of the master too right just to keep it somewhere there next thing i will do is to make sure i create a photo filter and what we know is next to white should be blue right so let's pick up our cooling filter let's toggle through which one will be best for us yeah i think i think this one should work this blue should work then i'll create a contrast curve and there we have it i'll group this three name this whitening add a max to this invert the max make sure it's a black max pick up a white brush right flow of 100 opacity of 100 then i just paint over the eye this way and that should solve that problem and if you feel like it's too white you can just bring down the opacity right then there we have a naturally edited eye let's see the photo filter right that that, that should do it so there we have a naturally edited eye let me just increase the opacity a little bit more yep that should be it so this is the before and this is the after before and after before and another last one after right thank you so much for watching today's video you can apply this technique in all of your images like i said provided the eye has a lot of light hitting it you have catch lights in the eye this will make sure your eye retouching on your beauty images become as good and as natural as possible Thank you so much for watching if you're new here consider subscribing to the channel if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for supporting the channel what i want you to do is to share the video to your other friends so that they can also share it and can come and learn something new on my youtube channel my name is kojo joey and don't forget to subscribe as usual thank you so much and i'll see you in my next video peace